So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms. One of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like <laughs> Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. inside the octagon, he is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor McGregor. Herb Dean, our third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Well, there is nothing quite like calling fights here in Rio de Janeiro. I'd imagine for the athletes, nothing quite like making that walk. Here we are back in Brazil once again, DC. For the Brazilian athletes to see their colors being flown, to see the crowd going crazy every time. There were nights where Brazilian fighters should not move. They have won 10 fights at times in this arena because they take so much energy from the crowd. You gotta be kidding me. Edge of your seat action as expected. Oh way. man, John, they're trading early. Big right hand there. And now a left. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, big knee to the body. Man alive. And eats another huge knee. Oh, nice kick. 
That's a nice jab by him there. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you. That can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Big shot to the head. Nice job by Conor McGregor on the feet. You gotta think his longtime chief corner, John Cavanaugh, likes what he is seeing at his Cooper early tonight. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice defense. He got his hands up and he blocked it. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Tries the fly knee to no avail. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Oh. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Swap the ground him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep it. There it is again. Look at that. And landing some nasty strikes. Target and follows up with another one. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Counters now with an overhand left. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Jab is a point right now. That left hook was crazy. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's throwing. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, McGregor's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the round. He can't miss it, and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back, he couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Oh! He's hurt. Oh, just open it up on him now. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, 
Nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. He's a Great posture to win a nasty elbow. Excellent ground and pound here by McGregor. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Ground and town the hammer mark corner. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Oh, big right hand. Oh. He's hurt that one again. Oh. What a fight. Regner's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Oh! He's still plenty of... That strike blocked by McGregor. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster... Oh, my goodness! Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. to go. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Oh, he got to his spot. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting. Herb Dean steps in! Oh, my God! How about it? So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor! So what a moment for the biggest superstar this sport has ever seen. Conor McGregor, your winner by TKO. Beautiful performance by McGregor. He did everything he wanted to do inside the octagon tonight. And when Conor McGregor finds his flow, He's hell on wheels. Tonight, he once again proves why he's one of the best welterweights in the UFC.